In this video, we're going to get our object to follow a path. This is a way of things doing more interesting things than just moving entirely horizontally or vertically. And it can make your game feel a little bit more organic. So at the moment, if we have a look at this game, we'll see that in fact the astronauts just sit there, which makes it for a fairly unchallenging game. So we're going to set up a path for that astronaut. So you'll notice over on the side here, I've got a section for paths, and I'm going to create a path to sit in that folder, and it opens it up for me. So what I'm going to do is this is actually quite big here. This is a thousand and something. So I'm going to zoom in a bit to, um, to work in a slightly smaller area, and I'm going to put points. Now you'll notice that they're joining up, and I'm going to press it as a smooth curve. There you go. So... This is the path that my astronaut is going to follow. Now, when I get to the end, I might want it to rejoin where it started, and that's where I press closed. So it's creating that shape, which I admit looks a little bit like a racetrack, um, which it's going to follow. So I'm going to call that path underscore astronaut. There we go. And then on my astronaut, on its object, object astronaut, I'm going to say that when that object is created, created, I'm going to tell it to follow the path. So let's look here for path, and that's because I spelt that wrong. There we go. We're going to start following that path. Well, which path are we going to follow? The answer is the astronaut. Is it going to be absolute? Uh, the answer is no. Absolute means that it would be exactly those pixels where we'd drawn them on the screen. And here is the speed that it's going to be moving at. So let's have it moving quite quickly. At the end, it could just stop and sit there, but I'm actually going to get it to go in a loop so that it just goes around that circuit forever and ever. Now, let's give that a play. There we go. And you'll see that that astronaut is now following that path, which can make it feel much more organic. Now, the logic of my game is going to be a little bit off in that it's going to put it back on that path. Uh, because it starts there every time it's created and all we're doing is moving it. So that's okay, but the point is that's how you use a path and that's how you can give things a bit more of an interesting path. It's particularly good in maze games and so forth to have enemies that will actually move around a particular journey through the maze.